Hello there, stamping friends. It's Jackie Balhais with Clomp and Stampers. I have a quick and easy card to share with you today using the Timeless Arrangement stamp set and coordinating dies. The dies that go with this are amazing. Just saying, you, you're gonna have to really check these out and see how you'll be able to use them on many other projects. And I also wanna share with you a really good look at the 2023-2025, oh, I hope I had those dates right, in colors and let you see them all together because they're gorgeous. Every year Stampin' Up! comes up with five new in colors that are around for two years and they're usually, you know, pretty trendy colors and they coordinate nicely. And these, last year they were really fun and bright. These are more muted, earthy colors and I personally love them. So the cards I'm using today are gonna really focus on using those colors so that you can see them and maybe fall in love with them as well. So let's go ahead, flip this camera down because I can't wait to share the project I have for you today. Hang on a second. So here's a quick peek at this Timeless Arrangement stamp set and dies. We're not going to do a lot of stamping today because I really want to focus on the uniqueness of these dies, especially the four that have little labels, it looks like, and then some, I'm just going to call it greenery um, to come off of it. I'm going to show you some tips for using it. And then with the stamp set, we're actually not going to stamp any of the images, but we're going to use the greetings because there's great greetings in here. So I like to think of this stamp as a greeting stamp set. And then with these, you also have these great little stitched um, rectangles. I was going to say squares, but they're rectangles for your greeting. So the ideas are endless. Now that is in the annual catalog that just came out this month. So if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and have a catalog, hop over to my website. There'll be a link in the description so that you can order yourself a catalog because it is chock filled full with ideas, um, inspiration, and, and amazing, awesome products. So now in the description, there's that link and it'll take you to the blog post and you can find everything from there, but it'll show you pictures of the projects I'm sharing with you today, the list of all the products I used and some more great information. So make sure you check out that link. It should be real easy to find in the video description. Now, I have the In Color Designer Series paper here to share with you. There is a package of this paper for every single color group that Stampin' Up! has. Um, the prints are all the same, it's just the different colors. And I like that there's basically four designs. So we have the dots in the little dashes, flip it over and we have hearts and we have some diagonal stripes. But this is a fun way to see these colors. So let's see if I can remember them. Pebbled Path. Moody Mauve, Boho Blue, um, oh gosh, Copper Clay, and Wild Wheat. So those are the five in colors um, that we have this year. And like I said, I love these colors and I love them together. And I hope with the cards I share with you today, you'll see how beautiful they are because I actually have five cards to share, each one made using a different color so you can really see the colors. Now, we're, like I said, we're not doing a lot of stamping today. This is more about the design and the layout of this card because you could use this layout with any designer series paper, any stamps, any greetings. So basically, we have our designer series paper that we're gonna go ahead and put onto a piece of basic black. Um, you all know I love layering with black and black looks amazing with all five of these in colors. Now, the measurements of um, all the pieces I'm using are on that blog post, so just hop over there and you can grab it. And like I said, any designer series paper you could do the same layout with. And we're gonna just put that right there on our card front. And then I have another strip of the designer series paper that is from that same pack, so it coordinates, but I love intermixing these two patterns together. Um, they, you know, especially the more big, bold image on the, um, on the stripes here and then the little dashes. So there is our card base. Now again, any designer series paper, you could use these same measurements, same design, add yourself a greeting on here and bam, you got a quick and easy card. So, now this is boho blue. I'm using one of those in colors. Now I did, before I came on the video here, 
is I cut out a couple of the pieces. So you can see here, let's see, this one's from there. And you'll see when it cuts out, and I'm just calling it granary, it's all these little pieces, but they're attached to this center piece. Um, same thing here. Let's see, I think this one came from this die. Okay, so there's four different ones. So you got four different patterns. And it's really cool because these will stack with each other. They can be used individually. And the whole idea behind these, now granted, you could stamp words right here, but the main idea behind the way they design these dies is to take the other, the greetings in the stamp set, stamp them in one of these rectangles, which I've done here for you. You are so loved. You could also use any greetings you have in here or you know a different size if you've got a greeting but it doesn't fit that's okay just stamp it and cut it out and then these are going to layer behind it you know how often have we cut or punched out little pieces and tried to stick them underneath something and they're kind of hard to adhere well this makes it super simple because we've got the pieces underneath but we have this nice piece here to use to adhere it you know to the back so i'm going to just take my adhesive put a little bit on that piece, and then I can take my greeting and I can move it over whichever direction I want as long as you know, I don't have this part sticking out. And we're gonna just stick it right on there, let that sit, and there you go. Now it looks like we have two individual little sprigs tucked back behind this piece. And then that's what the back looks like. Now we'll do the same. and. Um, these are these four dies you can actually layer all four of them together you could use them singly or you could mix and match them to layer them but we're going to put the white behind there so now we just have this really nice focal point that we can put on top of our designer series paper so to do that we'll use our dimensionals um let's use that yep no that's no it's not i always want to make sure that this isn't sticking out over the top so, and then go ahead, put some dimensionals on here. I like to kind of keep them towards the bottom because this is a little thicker there because of the cardstock. So by putting the dimensionals on the bottom, it'll lay nice and flat. And then we can go ahead and we can just stick this wherever we want on our card. Now notice this card's basically monochromatic other than using the black and the white to it but I like how it just lets the paper do the work. We added our greeting, and then we'll add a little um, linen bow here. I've already tied it. And then to attach these, I like to take my glue dots, kind of use my finger, roll it in half, and stick that little bow on there. We can put that there. Just adds that nice little touch. And then we'll add one more thing. These are the embellishments that are in these in colors. So to keep it all boho blue here, let's go ahead and we'll take the three different sizes. We've got a, a large, a medium, and a small. And I'm just using my take your pick tool, that putty end. I love that for picking up you know, different little embellishments. But there we go, we added those dots on there. And just like that, we have a very quick and easy card um, using the in colors and using that timeless and arrangement stamp set and dies. So the ideas are absolutely endless with these products. Um, so let me show you the other cards that I made. Like I said, I wanted to focus on the in colors. So this one is copper clay and then pebbled path. Now notice I use different greetings all from that stamp set, wild wheat, and let's see, make sure we have them all in our picture here. There is Moody Mauve. But look at how beautiful they all look together and how they all work individually just for a monochromatic card. So I hope you like this idea. I hope you like the tips for using this stamp set as well as these very unique style of dies that you could use on with any papers. Okay, I just happen to use the in colors here, but this would be great. Um, even focal point to pop on with any designer series paper. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, make sure to let us know. Leave a comment, send us an email, and then check out the description of the video. It'll take you to that corresponding blog post where I'll have pictures of these, the list of supplies I used, as well as all the cutting measurements so that you can copy this layout exactly. Thanks again for watching, and we'll be stamping again real soon. Have a stamp happy day.